O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now. Sunday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time, Year A. The readings are taken by Sister Eustam Toy from the Congregation of Missionary Sisters of Our Lady of Apostles and Meditation by Fadalkes Moses SMA. A reading from the Prophet Malachi. I am the Great King, says the Lord of Hosts. And my name is feared throughout the nations. And now, priest, this warning is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not find it in your heart to glorify my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send the curse on you and cause you a very blessing. You have Stayed from the way, you have caused many to stumble by your teachings. You have destroyed the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. And so I in my turn have made you compatible and vile in the eyes of the whole people, in payment for the way you have not kept to my path, but have shown partially in your administration. Have we not all one Father? Did not one God create us? Why then do we break faith with one another? profaning the covenant of our ancestors. The Word of the Lord The responsorial song, the response is, Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor hotly my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvelous beyond me. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. A real child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Like a mother feeding and looking after her own children, and we felt so devoted and protective towards you, and had come to love you so much, that we were anger, eager to hand over to you 
not only the good news but our whole lives as well. Let me remind you, brothers, how hard we caused you to work, slaving nights and day, so as not to be a burden on any one of you, while we were proclaiming God's news to you. Another reason why we constantly thank God for you is that as soon as you heard the message that we brought you as God's message, you accepted it for what it really is, God's message and not some human thinking. And it is still a living power among you who believe it. The Word of the Lord Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. You have the message of internal life. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the crowd and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with their fingers. They do all their deeds to be seen by men, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feast and the best seats in the synagogue and salutations in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by men. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brethren. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have one master, the Christ. He who is great among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is amazing, dear brothers and sisters, that what is happening in the time of the prophet Malachi is the same that is happening today. It is even amazing how people forget about God in times of prosperity and only remember Him in times of trouble. Like people of all times, we too are guilty of the same. In the early years of the constitution of the Jewish nation, precisely during their exodus journey from the land of Egypt to the promised land, God cautioned the people on forgetting him in their times of prosperity. Confer Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 10 to 15 
and Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 to 20. This caution came just after the great commandment was passed, that is, to love God with all their hearts, with all their minds, and with all their strengths. Comfort Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 4 to 9. This commandment was cited by Jesus in last Sunday's Gospel reading. Matthew chapter 22 verse 34 to 40. The caution presented today in the prophecy of Malachi seems to have the same context of forgetting God in times of prosperity. Malachi lived and prophesied around the years 518 BC when the Temple of Jerusalem was reconstructed and the year 432 BC when Nehemiah revisited Jerusalem. When King Cyrus and Darius gave permission to Ezra and Nehemiah and all the Jews who are ready to leave Babylon to go back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple and to rebuild the city, he supported the people greatly with financial help. Hence, Jerusalem began to flourish once again. However, in the time of this prosperity, the people began to go astray, forgetting what God did for them. And the first people to go astray were the priests, the leaders of the people. The contempt for God by the priests showed itself in how they despised the name of the Lord, how they offered polluted and stolen goods as sacrifices, and how they offer unworthy things to the Lord. Malachi chapter 1 verse 6 to 14. Hence, in today's first reading, God is telling the priests his intention to take away every blessing from them if they fail to listen to him. We see a similar scenario in the Gospel reading, in which Jesus cautioned in the first instance the people not to behave in the unworthy ways of the Pharisees, who are hypocrites. In the second instance, he denounced the scribes and the Pharisees for their hypocritic attitude and their pride, as well as their dominance of the people. These people put heavy burden on others, lock the kingdom of God against others. They are blind guides, and they forget about justice and mercy. Confirm Matthew chapter 23 verse 1 to 36. In the second reading, St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians present to us how leaders should behave by presenting us how he did his mission. That is, by sharing with the people not only the gospel but also his very self his joy, his comfort, and everything that he could ever have. In his quest not to put burden on the people, he worked himself out for all his needs. He was indeed among them as someone who serves, someone who humbles himself, who remembers what is more important, justice and mercy and someone who lives a true and simple life. He is the direct opposite of the priest denounced in the first reading and the scribes as well as the Pharisees whose attitude Jesus decried in the Gospel reading. What message can we learn from today's readings? In our world today, many people still and present stolen goods in the house of the Lord. Looking at our countries and our nations, we see Christians engaging in dirty politics 
and businesses. These same people come to the church, make huge donations, and the church praises them. This is denounced by God. We also see that many of us forget God when everything seems to go well, when we seem to prosper. However, when things become difficult, we come back running to God. This should not be the case among us. We must always remember God, both in good and bad times. We also see that people today are so proud and they are not ready to do anything that will not bring praise. We too are guilty of that because our lives is enshrouded in hypocrisy and eye service. Fourth, we forget to share the little we have forgetting that we are called not only to share what we have but to also share who we are our joys our talent our dignity and our pride god is calling us today to examine our lives to see where we are behaving like the priests and the pharisees he is proposing to us the life of St. Paul for emulation. Let us pray today that having learned from today's reflections, we will make conscious efforts to be good Christians, lovers of justice, actors of mercy, images of truth, transparency and holiness, and perfect example of simple and humble lives. May the Lord bless his word in our hearts and make it fruitful in our life. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Désormais sur vos smartphones et ordinateurs, toutes les actualités de l'Église catholique en Afrique et dans le monde entier sur SMA Togo TV. Le Samaritain aujourd'hui, on ne l'a pas, mais c'est nous qui sommes les Samaritains. Nous devons suivre l'exemple de Jésus sur cette terre. C'est le coup de la parole, l'opportunité d'être en communion avec le Christ. SMA Togo TV est accessible 24 heures sur 24 en direct sur le www.smatogo.tv, YouTube, SMATogo TV, Facebook, SMATogo TV. Téléchargez l'application SMATogo TV dans Play Store. Foi, éducation, santé, société, développement, entrepreneuriat, humour et sport, tout est passé au peigne fin sur votre web TV. SMATogo TV, la première chaîne missionnaire. Thank you.